Hey, what's up guys? My name's Nathan. Today we're playing American Truck Simulator. Today I'm using John Ritter's 389 and his Manic trailer that comes in his USA trailer pack. I'll leave links to his Facebook down in the description. We have Zmoz's Cummins N14 in this. I'll leave a link to his website, but this this engine mod you can find on Steam. Just look it up. I'll give you, show you what it sounds like. It's all around this thing, so I'll show you guys the front lights first. That's what those look like. And we'll go ahead and turn on the LEDs. This thing's decked out in red. Today we're hauling hay. 21,830 pounds of hay from Twin Falls all the way down to Ontario, Oregon. feedback. Sorry if you guys can hear it. Um, hopefully you guys don't hear it too much. As you can probably already tell, I have uh, I'm on a modded account right now in 1.41 experimental beta. Um, you can't take mods into the convoy, sadly. You There was a way you could, but they patched it. And, uh, so, I'm going to play by myself on a modded account. See where I was. Should give us the green any second. I hope. I'm messing up on. Oh, gotta go a little bit 
further, and then they'll get us the green. Yep, there it is. Go and roll the windows up just in case any rain comes through. That happened to me multiple times. And shut those off, shut those off. So we're gonna be driving through the night. Arrive there probably around afternoon time, maybe even early. Got the hay all loaded up. I'm using the flat top version of John Ritter's 3D9. He has the, the 3D9 glider, and then whenever you go to customize it, you have an option to make a flat top. I have the lowered extended axle with a 630 horsepower Cummins M14 by Z Mods. Uh, the paint job says 600, but I had to go with the 630 because it was the only one close to the 600. That actually gave me enough power to do these loads, so. After 100 yards, turn left, turn left. Here soon I plan on getting a Eaton Fuller shifter knob, the splitter and the range. Kenworth, Kenworth, you can make that, bro. You're not turning. I am. What is this? This Volvo thinks I don't know how to turn either. I think I'm pretty sure that was either a Volvo or a Freightliner, but. This Freightliner. I don't know what was happening uh, with the camera there for a second. Oh, I just ran that red light. No, I didn't. straight for a little bit more so. That's fine. So today I had a, ch a chance to go to an entry drag racing. I was gonna go, but I didn't. Ooh. Okay then. I didn't wake up in time to actually be able to go. Sadly. Um, my brother and my grandfather went without me, which is okay. It's my fault for not waking up. I stayed up too go late. Go straight. But it gives me a chance to um, play American Truck Simulator and make my first uh, video. 
a win and a loss at the same time. Logitech G920 with the Logitech shifter, obviously. Would rather have the TH8A, but. Okay, this one for right now. Mods does a great job on him. That's why I always use his. Go straight. And John Ruda, he makes a perfect truck, and he actually has an update coming out. And for the Peterbilt. So, I can't wait to see what he brings out with that one. Hopefully he brings out an older style dash, because I, uh, I just love seeing the 379 dash inside of a Peterbilt 389. It looks so good, but... To me it looks good, to some people it don't. Honestly. <laughs> Got stuck at a red. I can't pull up completely because I'm not going to be able to see the light, so. We have the boat. Pretty much a bow tie visor on this, and it just kind of messes up the view. There we go. Yep, grind it. Grind it too. Oh, can't find a grind it. That's all I'm saying. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. That check brake on this engine right. sounds so good. He does good with his words. He, might, he really does good. I don't know. My trailer must have been on the grass.
have it set up fully because I just like it. It makes it feel more realistic. Um, but no. nice little ride. I'm just going for a short ride. For my first video, I'm not trying to make it too long. on the other day and it ended up being laggy and uh, it was two hours long because I went from I went from wherever I like, was at I think it was in Reno um, Reno, Nevada and I drove all the way to Cedar City I can't remember where that was I drove to Cedar City. Then I drove all the way up to, uh, I think it was Oregon. And it, it was just way too long. Oh no, I was going to Oregon with the same load I'm doing right now, which was hay. Because I love doing the hay loads on a flat top, uh, flat top truck with a flatbed trailer. Like I was saying, we went to Cedar City and my load that I was driving to go pick up expired. So I had to do another one. We ended up having another hay there. So we took it up to Twin Falls. And then that's whenever I ended it. And it ended up being laggy and way too long. So. hour long video as my as my first there was no way I was going to do that probably deal with some crazy AI Stopping at a green light for construction. And it says stop on red. Stop here on red. And they stop there on green and red. So. Go ahead and roll the windows up. Get a nice sound of the inside of the windows up. I've seen worse than this. Uh, that just say 65 now. No, that say 65. It does. Sacred control to 65. Turbo spools Keep up left. in this truck, it just sounds so good. But this engine at least. Z mods released a come, uh, my bad, a Caterpillar C15 6NC, pretty sure. And I want to do a video on that, but I'm probably going to wait for the update for John Rudas. 
Peter World 389. Do uh, a two and one. Let's see, here's the crazy merges from the AI. Crazy AI like that. No warning. I mean, like, anything like that. Just straight stop in the highway. can be fixed. They try to fix it, but it didn't really work out well. I'm doing 70. This car really needs to speed up. I mean, you're behind a fire truck and you're slowing down. Wait, actually, is there speed limit 65? Why would their speed limit be 65 and ours be 70? That makes no sense. Theirs has to be at least 75 to 80. I don't know what that sign just said. Oh, we're slowing down. Is that what that said? 65 to 50. Holy. Wait, are they actually going Keep slower right than us? After 50 yards, exit Whoa. right ahead. Again, frame drop of the city. Wow. And this is Ontario, so. Exit right ahead. I'm exiting. Also downshifting. Oh, yep. It may actually crash the game. Oh no. Please don't do that. Okay. Yeah, sorry for the bad frame drop. Holy. And it's not just because I have a bad computer, it's actually the game. Um, if you guys know who Jeff Aviano is, he uh, he's, goes through it too. inspired me to do all this to get a wheel shifter pedals um, and actually play ATS so thanks to him I'm actually liking this game and what I'm doing because I actually thought about doing it in real life I know it's nothing like real life but it's just a thought I mean Was, uh, that was the actual control, cruise control. Jake breaking by itself because I got up to speed. Now this is me actually Jake breaking. We'll go ahead. Go ahead and put it on stage two so it's not too. F okay, what am I doing? I thought that was. Uh, I thought you could go straight, but you can't. Turning right up here though. After 100 Good yards, turn right. These, uh, houses and families in the houses. Turn right. Okay, come on. Slamming on the brakes again. It's yellow. You Far lane because you can see on the G 
GPS. We're turning right up here. Yeah, it was just a quick Keep little right. drive on to After down to Ontario. Yards, turn right. Turn right. Maybe I don't want a new truck in a really top lane. Uh, yeah, that, that looks... That company's gonna hate me for life, but you know what? I am a millionaire on this game, so they can just take some money out of my... After 100 pay. yards, you know what, they turn the left. Money. <laughs> turn left. After 50 yards, turn left. Okay, well, I mean... You, you have reached me. your destination. You tell me to turn left, and then you tell me after 50 yards, turn left, and then you tell me to turn left again. <sighs> okay. Okay. I can honestly probably stray back. Maybe. Maybe, oh maybe. So, what I'm thinking... You turn, roll down the windows. Oh yeah, we can straight back this. Okay, um... Got it. I think we got it. I do not like that at all, and they shouldn't either. See how bad I'm doing. I can't. Well, I may, I may have misjudged that.
I like it. I like it enough, so. I'm not even gonna roll the windows up. Ooh. Okay, somehow I did not get a damage penalty, but. Okay. Alright, well, yeah, that was a quick little. I don't mind a lot of recycling. If you guys actually heard that, people around where I live just love having loud, loud exhausts. Um, so if you're thinking about getting the Tonder, the 389, and the, his trailer pack, I'll show you how, to, how you have to set everything up. And how it has to be in order and everything. Okay, so we'll start from the bottom. Yeah, USA truck wheels. Then the flare pack for the trucks and trailers. And the personal key for Peterbilt 389. And Peterbilt 389. If you buy the Peterbilt 389, whatever truck, it will it will actually come with images on showing you how to do it. But you can see it here. And then you got realistic light for P389. Halogen. I say halogen, but I, it could be halogen. I don't know. And then you got the skin pack for the Peterbilt 389. Sizzles Mega Pack. Sizzles compatibility with Peterbilt 389 Glider. DLC accessories compatibility with Peterbilt 389 Glider. 1.40 engine sounds adaption. Then for the trailer, you got Wheels for USA. Trailers, Wilson Hopper Bottom 43. Then the Manic Darkwing Flatbed. The Great Dane Fridge. Refriger and the law refrigerators. Great Dane trailer skins. Manic flatbed for freight market. And I need to learn English today. And here's mods that I have. You got realistic truck physics. U U.S. asphalt. Realistic mirror FOV. Detroit diesel series. 60 series. And engine pack by Z mods. These you can find on Steam. Caterpillar C16, Caterpillar 3406, 3406. The Eaton Fuller Ultra Shift plus VXP. I really don't know, but you can find it on Steam as well. Caterpillar 346E. Sound and engine pack by Z Mods, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Z Mod. This is the engine pack that I was using for the Cummins N14. And then you got Creech Bomb stuff you can find on Steam. Uh, this you can find on Steam. So another Cummins N14. You can find Rebenicus's stuff on Steam. Creech Bombs again on Steam. Uh, this is on Steam. I don't really use it, but these I'm pretty sure are on Steam. This one is. Um, this I don't know. I got it from one of the United Logistics streams they were letting you get it for free if you wanted to use it but uh high strung which is life behind the wheel he actually i'm pretty sure stopped trucking but that's his skin blue camo for rudis p and you got all these stuff um here's the google maps navigation that i was using then you got longer yellow lights real american gas stations real logos for john ruda mods um all of these are on Steam. And these are all on Zmods' website. Um, from here all the way up to the air brake sound mod. You got Real Companies and Trailer Pack, which is on Steam. And this old skin for John Rue's 389 flat top is on Steam as well. So, um, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the American Truck Simulator video. Um... For my first video ever. I hope I did pretty good. I don't know. You guys have a nice one. Like, subscribe if you want to. Peace.